Ebi. Don't you dare mention my name. What are you doing in my house? Ebi, I'm sorry. That is not the answer to my question. What are you doing in my house? Look, Ebi, if you can just give me some few minutes to... Get out. Ebi, please. Get out of my house! Don't make me do what I will regret. Ebi, please. Caleb, leave my house. By the time I get back here and you're still here, you won't like what I will do to you. <sighs> you know what, baby? I changed my mind. Let's go inside. Okay. Um, I'm so sorry, sir. Like, I, I don't know what, I don't know what happened to my mom. But don't worry, wait here. I'll talk to her, okay? Thank Just you. wait here for a minute. Thank please. you so much. You're welcome. You're welcome. Why did, you, why did you talk to that man in a rude way? Please, he please. taught me to always respect people. Why? Please, 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 not now, no, 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 please. At least you should have listened to what he has to say. I am not doing that. Hmm. Please, please, this is different, okay? How is it different? You know what, just, just go to your room. Just, just allow me to think, allow me to think. Mom, you know you can tell me everything. Tell me, what is going on? You can have the room to yourself. Just, just, just leave me. Just leave me. Um, I'm really, really sorry, sir. I've been trying to talk to my mom, but she wouldn't listen. I'm sorry. But don't worry, okay? Maybe you should go and come back tomorrow or any other day. I will talk to her. I'll keep talking to her until she decides to give you an audience. Okay, thank you so much. Mm. Thank you. Everyone deserves to tell his or her own part of the story. That's what she taught me, but I wonder why she's doing this to you. Yeah? Don't worry, I'll talk to her until she agrees, okay? All right, it's fine. Thank you. So I'll come back tomorrow. That's absolutely fine. Thank you so much once again. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Ah, sorry, sir. It's fine. I wonder what this man did. That my mom will be acting like this. This is not fair. It's not fair. Mom, you're here. I've been looking for you all over the house. Mom, are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm fine. But you're tearing up. What's, what's wrong? I'm, I'm fine, please. Mm. What are you doing awake? Why are you crying? No, 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 I'm not. I'm not. I'm not crying. Oh, you're obviously crying. Talk to me. What's going on? No, no. So, something entered my eyes. Something just. Something. Mom, are you trying to hide it from me? It's clear. I can see it. Just go to bed, okay? And mom, who was that man earlier? And why were you so rude to him? I've never seen you rude to anybody. Why the sudden change? He wants to know who that man is. Yes, and I want to know why you were rude to him. You remember... You remember the man I told you that abandoned us? That's him. What? Wait. Wait. So you mean that man is... Yes. Yes. He's your father. Don't call him that. He's not my father. How... How, how dare he show his face in this house? Is something wrong with him? I was wondering the same thing. And then he was acting like a good person, whereas he's the devil himself. You, you see why I do not want to tell no. you in the first place? No, mom, you should have told me. It's even good that you told me, because if that man shows his face in this house, if he comes to this house tomorrow... Well, why would you say that? I told him to come tomorrow so that I can talk to you. Why? Because I thought he was a good person. I thought he was sensible. But now I know who he is. Tomorrow, if he comes to this house, if he gets slip his foot into this house... Please. No, don't tell me to calm down. This is not fair. This is not nice. He abandoned me for how many years? For 10 years. For 10 good years and now he's here again. He has the temerity to show up at this house. Just, just calm down. No, don't tell me to calm down. Is that why you're crying? Because of that man. That senseless man. Come on, mom. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't deserve your tears. So please, wipe your tears. Oh, God. And as for that man, if he comes here tomorrow, 
If I see him in this house tomorrow, he will regret ever knowing you. Just, just calm down. Please. Please. Please stop crying. Please. Good morning, Mom. Good morning. What are you doing with a frying pan? I'm waiting for that man. With a frying pan? Yes. And if he's not careful, if he's not careful, I will actually use it on him. No, 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 no. Please. Give it to me. No, just let me do what Just I'm give doing. it to me, please. The longer waited moment. Peace. Peace. Good morning. What are you doing? You, you asked me to. How dare you? How dare you come back to this house? What are you talking about? You know what? About? Get out of this house. Before I open my eyes and close it, you're out of this house. I'll leave this thing on you. I'll leave this thing on you. Get this thing out of this house. Please, please, don't go back. Please, take it. Please, show me. Please, 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 it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's locked. It's locked. Calm down. It's okay, it's okay. No, this is okay. please. Please, can you hear me out? Just leave, please. Peace. Peace. What was the meaning of that? How could you chase a grown man with this? Mommy should be happy that I didn't use it on him because the plan was to use it on him. Like, how could he even show up here after 14 years? How? That doesn't mean you should chase him. That's not nice. Well, yeah, I better not come back to this house because the next thing I will do will shock you. Peace. What? My dear, I couldn't believe it when I set my eyes on him either. What does he want? What else? That he's sorry, oh, that he wants to make up for all those years. You know how all these men are now. He's very, very stupid. He is! I hope you're not thinking of accepting him back, Sha. <laughs> no, not after everything he has made me go through. Better, oh. You had better not. Because you've been doing absolutely fine without him and you keep doing fine. Yeah. How are you doing, though? <sighs> My dear, I won't like seeing him brought back bitter memories. Oh, baby girl, you'll be fine. All right? You're the strongest woman I know. Thanks, damn. <laughs> <laughs> so how's my goddaughter doing? Oh, she's gone to school. Oh, that's true, school. <laughs> Are you sure you've eaten this morning? I did never chop up. Go downstairs and fix yourself. So I should go downstairs and fix myself food. Please, I'm trying to process everything that has happened. Please, I, do, I don't have strength. Mm, it's because of that that I'll, I'll, I'll go and fix Tamara. myself. Tamara! Ah, no problem. I better lie off my shoe. Yeah, give me your slippers. Please, me prepare me food for two, okay? Yes, what are you doing here? Will you get out of my house? Abire. Leave my house! What are you doing here? Abire, please now. Go back to the default setting you've been in for the past 14 years. Why are you here all of a sudden? I've realized my mistakes and I want to make up for it. Look, my daughter will soon be home and I do not want her to meet you here. Just go! Leave my house! Abire, leave my house! Leave! Leave! Abire, please now, please. Just go! Go! Just go! Abire, please. Abire. Leave! Abire. Leave! What are you doing here? Um, I asked the question, what are you doing here? Please, please. What part of we don't need you, don't you understand? We don't need you. 
Look, I'm, I regret everything that I did. Mm. I'm going inside now. And I don't want to see you when I come out. Because if I do, if I do, we'll have a very big problem. Please, please, please. Mom, what is that man doing outside the house? You're back. I said, what is that man doing there? Is he still there? Yes! Mom, please, I beg you, make him leave. Make him leave your own way. I don't want to get involved in this because if I do, if I do... No, you won't get involved, okay? Then make him leave. I won't do that either. Look, if he decides he wants to stay there, let him stay. When he gets tired, he will leave. Just, just ignore him, okay? You know what, baby? Go upstairs, freshen up, and come down for your food, okay? Okay, mom. This will be the last time I will come out here to talk to you. Caleb, leave my house. Ibiri, please. I don't need your please. I don't need it. Just leave. Just go. What do you want from us? Just, just go. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter if you apologize from now till tomorrow. I don't need your apology. I won't even take it either. Just go. Go. What do I have to do to make you see how sorry I am? Leave us and never come back. I can't live like that without even you listening to me. Really? Then stay out here. Ibiri. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Eberi! I'm sorry! What? You got to come to my house. Peace, what are you doing? Eh? I want to teach this man a lesson. What's he even doing in our living room? I invited him, okay? Now let me have that. You invited him? For what? You invited the, the, this man? Just take it. No, let me just... No, no, no. Don't do that, okay? Let me have it. Look, I'm sorry for everything. Really, really sorry. Sorry? So sorry is all you have to tell us. Will sorry make up for the lost years? Do you know how many years this is? Do you even know how many times I wake up in the night and I see my mom crying because of you? Will sorry fix that? See, not taking responsibility for both of you was my biggest mistake. And I wish I could turn back the hands of time. I promise I'll make a better decision. A decision that will involve both of you being in it with me. Well, unfortunately, you cannot turn back the hands of time. Or can you? Look, I'm, 
really, really sorry. I, I will kneel down if you want me to kneel, just to show you how sorry I am. And who cares if you kneel down? Because I don't. Um, Ibere, I'm sorry. My daughter. Don't you ever call me that. If you call me that again, we'll fight. I will fight you. Do you know how old I am? I am 14 years old. So for 14 years, you've been nowhere to be found. Like, you didn't even care about me. You didn't even remember that you had a daughter. And now you're back. You suddenly show up and you're calling me your daughter. Don't try it again. Very. Oh, mom, why did you even let this man into this house? Why? He's irritating me. I don't like him. Get up. Mom, please tell him to just get out of this house at once. Please, I'm sorry. Did you hear my mom? Didn't you hear my mom? She said you should go. Please. Go and please, don't come back. Please, please. Can you can you leave us? Mom, why should I? Sit down. You want him to sit down or not? Mom. Please, please. Just give us some space, okay? <sighs> sit down. Thank you so much, Abby. It's a berry. Sorry. Sorry for yourself. By the way, what are you even doing here? Why are you here? I'm here to make amends. I'm here to make up for all the times I've hurt you. You're here to make amends. And how do you plan on doing that? I don't even know. But I'm willing to do anything. Anything at all. Look, I know I don't deserve your forgiveness. I don't even deserve to sit here with you. But I made a mistake, Ebere. And I don't even mind spending the rest of my life trying to make it up to you. If you'd let me. Please. I am sorry. I'm truly sorry. Forgive me. What? He made a mistake. A mistake? Please, we all make mistakes. Come on, Mom. Don't even call this one a mistake. It's intentional. That man didn't abandon us for three years or, or four years. For 14 years. 14 good years. And now he suddenly shows up with a sob story. And you want to believe him? Please, he said he has been looking for us, but couldn't find us. He has been looking for us for 14 years. Like, how hard is it to look for us? How hard is it? Mom, just... That man is lying. He might even be here for another thing. Oh, what other reason could that be? Ah, well, I don't know. But a man like that cannot be trusted. Never. Peace is your father. Oh. He's not my father. God forbid. In fact, I don't have a father. Regardless of what you think, you still have his blood running through your veins. And if I have the power, I'll do place that blood with water. Peace. Yes. Mom, please. I don't even want to accept him. I can never accept him. Please, let's, let's just give him a chance. I'm okay? not giving him a chance. Never. I said never. Aren't you a Christian? What did the Bible teach us about forgiveness? <laughs> Mom, please don't even try to bring religion into this. But if you want to, let's try. If you check how many times that man has annoyed us or made us angry in these 14 years, it's more than 70 times 7. Please. Please. Let's give him a chance, okay? If he proves he's here for good, no problem. But if he's not, we throw him out of our lives forever, please. Please. Please, okay? Oh we are forgiving you. Really? Um, thank you, thank you so much, Ibere. Thank you, peace. Um, I, I was thinking. Maybe both of you should just move in with me. What are you talking about? Look, I, I want to make up for all those years. I want to take care of both of you properly. And I want to marry you. Whoa, slow down. You're running too fast. I mean, it's true that I have decided to forgive you. But that doesn't mean I'll move into your house and... Maybe are we talking marriage? It will take me time to fully forgive you. And that's only when you've proven beyond reasonable doubt that you're a changed person. I am. I really am, I promise you. That's why I was actually suggesting that maybe both of you should just um, move in with me. Anyway, you can move in with us. Hmm. Why? 
we can't move in with him. So let him stay here. But that was not part of the plan. We never planned to let him stay here. Please, let him stay, okay? You can stay here with us, okay? You want to stay here with us, huh? Do you want to stay here with us? Um, yes. Okay. I agree. But that'll be only on one condition. Anything. Anything at all. Anything. You will do everything possible to make up for the whole time you were not here. That's exactly why I'm here. Oh, really? Yes. We'll see about that. It's okay. This is your room. Thank you so much. Peace. Don't thank me. You know, the only reason you're in this house is my mom. Look, Peace, I know you're angry with me. But like I said earlier, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make up for those oh, years. Oh, yes, you will. And I'll make sure of it. Okay, so I'll be going back to my house to pick up a few things. Is there something you want me to get for you on my way back? What could you possibly buy for me after 14 years of abandonment? Hi, peace, how are you? Um, so I asked my mom what she would like to have for lunch. And she said she wants jello fries and fried chicken. Mm. And as for me, what do I even want to eat? I think my mom is okay. Okay, yeah. very well then. So I'll just um, order it for both of you. I know some very good food vendors around. Order what? Food. Breaking news, we don't eat fast food. We eat homemade only. But how would you know when you've been absent for 14 years? I'm sorry. Sorry for yourself. We don't need that sorry. All we want you to do is go into that kitchen with your hand. Don't use any fast food method. Cook jollof rice and fried chicken. Moi moi. Do you hear me? And be quick. Okay. And come back. Let me tell you before you tell me. I even tell me. That's why I don't know. Since so you don't know anything about us. We eat lunch at 3. So if you check well, you should have around one hour and a few minutes to prepare the food. Do you understand? Yeah, it's fine. Be quick. So, um, done making the food. Should I dish it now? Um, <clears throat> actually, we had a change of mind. Yes. My mom doesn't want to eat jollof rice anymore. She wants to eat beans and plantain. Yes, and me, I don't want to eat mamoy anymore. I'm not craving mamoy. I like to eat porridge yam. Yes. But please, you requested for jollof rice for your mom and mamoy for yourself a while ago. Mm-hmm, and I changed my mind. We changed our mind. It happens sometimes, but of course, you don't know because you've been absent for 14 years. 14 good years, so you don't know how our body system works. But you don't expect me to go and start making another meal afresh after I just finished making what you requested, oh, do no, you? Oh no, I don't. If it's too hard for you, you can just go upstairs, pack your things and leave this house. How about that? I'll prepare the new meal. You didn't even have a choice, so why are you acting like you have one? Please, what's going on here? I didn't ask for anything. Well, he said he'll do anything to make up for the lost years, so that's what I'm trying to do. You were. <laughs> Don't worry, he'll work and be tired of working. You accepted him back. Well, it's not like I accepted him back. But he lives here now. I'm just trying to give him an opportunity to prove himself. What exactly is there to prove? Hey, Bere, this man left you all these years. 
Don't you think there's a reason he's suddenly back? And what reason could that be? Look, Tamara, whether we like it or not, peace is his daughter and she needs her father. But you two have been doing just fine without him. Peace still needs her father. And like I said, I'm only trying to give him an opportunity to prove himself, okay? I just hope you don't regret your actions, so. You're very... Oh, the Tamara. How are you? Caleb. It's been a long time. It sure has. What are you doing here? <laughs> Trying to make up with my family. What family? The ones you abandoned all these years? Tamara, I made a mistake. Oh, spare me those silly excuses. You got a baby pregnant after promising to marry her. But what did you do instead? You denied and abandoned her. And now you're back for whatever reasons I don't know. <sighs> well... I am back because I want to make things right. Tell me, why? Why now? You know, I warned my friend about you, but she didn't listen to me because she was so blinded in love with you. Caleb, no mistakes. Make no mistake. You know, I didn't like you then, and I don't like you now either. Tamara is fine. In fact, I deserve everything you've said. I even deserve more. But I can assure you that I'm a changed person now. I'm not that person anymore. I hope so. Because if you hurt my friend and my goddaughter once again, I won't take it lightly with you. I have no intention of doing that. What they say is cheap. I hope it's not it this time. Have a good day. <sighs> have a nice day. Baby girl, how are you? Where are you going to? I want to go and drop the things I bought. Did you even show me the person that sent you on the errand? You just walk into the kitchen. Oh, okay. So, these are the things I got. Let me see if you even have sense. No, I don't understand. What are these? <laughs> these are not the things I asked you to buy, so where did you get these ones from? These are the things you said I should buy. I said they are not the things I asked you to buy. Oh, look, I made, I made a list. Where but you... I said they are, they are not the things I asked you to buy. Why are you arguing with me? You will go back to the market and correct yourself. Yes. What? Please, I am just coming back from the market. And so what? You went to the market, you bought the wrong things. And then, what, what do you expect me to do? I should just... Accept them. Yes, 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 they are right. You will go and buy another one. Do you hear me? Okay, fine. Can, can we leave this for tomorrow? I'm tired and I need to rest. You need to rest. After you abandoned my mother and I, how many times do you think my mother rested? No! She didn't rest. She was busy. Catering for herself and our unborn child. She single-handedly trained me. She didn't rest. So you will not rest. You will go back to the market and correct yourself. Okay, fine. Can I at least go with my car this time around? Go with your car. I will go again. After you abandoned my mother and I, do you think she just got a car immediately and started driving around town? When she wants to go to the market, she will drive her car. When she wants to go to the supermarket, she will drive her car. Do you think that what happened? No! She just bought a car few, just, just few years ago. So for 12 years, she was trekking. She was trekking back and forth from market to house, from house to church, everywhere. She was trekking. So you are going to trek. You are going to trek until I'm satisfied that you trekked for a good number of times my mother tricked. Do you understand? Do you understand? I'm not trying to <laughs> look for a cab. When you go out there now, you chatter a car or something to take you. Because I will catch you. When I catch you, you will sweat. You will sweat blood. Do you understand? Now, I don't know how you do it, but just listen attentively. Get whatever, a pen, a phone. Just get something and... Put in this list because I'm about to say it again. Because if you go there and buy another nonsense, I don't know. 
you will go again. And yes, you will trek. Number one. This highway. What are you doing? I'm bringing out the plates that you wash. But I just finished washing these plates. Oh, well, I don't like them. They're not neat enough. I cannot eat with this plate, so you have to wash it again. Peace. Wait, do you want to stay in this house or do you want to pack your things and go? Which one? Not as much. The plates are dirty. Your presence in this house made them dirty because they've not seen you for 14 good years. Yes. So you wash everything. But this... I said they are dirty. Wash them! Huh? What's wrong with you? I tell you what to do, not you. Wash them! What? Yes. Sing me a lullaby. Or oh, are you not the one that said you'll do anything and everything to make sure you make up for the lost years? Yes, I said that. Then sing me a lullaby. But I don't know how to sing. Well, you will learn on the job. Just start. Am I going to sleep before you start? No, tell me. Am I going to sleep before you start singing a song that will help me sleep? My dear, start that song. Okay, there is um, this song. There's this song that has been that is coming to my head. It says aye ye aye ye aye ye. Wait, you're singing aye ye for me by this time of the night. <laughs> if they sing aye ye for you, will you sleep? Won't you stand up and start dancing? Is no, it? tell me. No, tell me. Who is there? What? It's a new song. Oh, by it's Chike. a new song. And so and so what? And so what? My dear, sing lullaby. I know you've not you've not sang anything that sounds like lullaby for 14 years because you abandoned a child you're supposed to take care of that is your own for 14 years. So you will learn today. Now sing a lullaby for me. Okay. There's this one. There's this one. It says. Anyone you want to sing, you sing. Onye mere mwane ibakwa. We to ziza we to. It is you that mere mwane ibakwa. You see you. You did it by abandoning me and my mother for 14 good years. That's how you did it. Oh, <laughs> you think I'll cry? You think I'll cry because you abandoned us for 14, just 14 years? What is 14 years? If you like, abandon us for 14, 15, 16, even 20 years, I will not cry. Who is crying here with you? Sing a, a, a lullaby. Oh, okay. Next one, you sing for me. Okay, you like this one. This particular one now, you will like it. It goes like this. Can't you speak English? Yes, I'm speaking English. Beru, are you okay? Well, I just finished singing Peace a Lullaby. She just slept off. So I should clap for you. Is that what you want? That's actually what I mean. And what do you think you're doing? Iberi, it's late in the night. You should be sleeping. Is something bothering you? Look, you can always talk to me. Let's get one thing straight. I allowed you in my house because in as much as everyone thinks otherwise, I think peace needs you in her life. But you're not here because of me, so do not cross your boundary again. Iberi, I, I was only trying to... Excuse me.
Hey, hey. What did you do here? I cleaned. You just touched the table with that towel. That's what you did. That is what you did. Is that how to clean a table? Of course, how will you know? For 14 years, you were busy abandoning us, abandoning people. Who knows how many people you abandoned? Now, clean this, this table. Clean it very well. Clean it with your muzzle, what? your waist, everything. I said clean it. Hey, baby. <sighs> Hi, mom. How oh. are you? I'm fine, mom. Hey, you're going out already? Yes, I'm going out. Oh, no. Would you like him to make anything for you? Food, smoothie? Mm, don't worry, I'm okay. Okay. Would you like me to get anything for you? Nah, uh, anything you get is fine. Okay, baby. I'll appreciate it. All right, bye. Bye, take care. Bye, bye Ibera. My friend, will you continue what you're doing? Ibera, Ibera, bye. I said clean this table well. Have you cleaned the table? Is that how to clean? You bend, bend down for 14 years. You abandoned my mother. He, she never, she never knelt down. She was always bending, cleaning. That's why. These are my mother's clothes, together with mine. Mm, I need you to wash them and be quick. Peace, you're not serious, are you? Do I have a smile on my face? But I can't wash your clothes. <laughs> Why not? Because it's not my job. Oh, well, you left your job for 14 good years. And guess who did it? My mom. My mom did both your duty and her duty. So if you want to get back into our lives, then you have to do whatever I ask you to do. Nonsense. After leaving us for 14 years, you're coming here to tell me it's not your job. You don't choose your job. I do. Now I need you to wash these clothes before my mom comes back. If you don't, better pack your bags and get out of this house. Peas. Oh, you're eating. Mm -hmm. mm. You want to join me? Mm. Definitely. Okay. I hope you're enjoying your food. Well, I, I, it's nice. Try it. You like it. I take. Take this thing from my hand. What are you doing? Take. This one should be enough for you. Mm. If you cannot eat without egg, then you go upstairs. Pack your things and get out of this house. <laughs> After I've been living without you for 14 years. 14 good years. Peace! Peace! Come and help me with my zip. Um. Peace is not around. What do you mean she's not around? She went out a few minutes ago. Okay. Ibera, I can help with the zip. Come on, it's just a zip. And I will not allow you to touch it, okay? So, um, if peace doesn't come to the time you want to leave, you would rather go out with an open zip. I would rather do that. Ibera, I said I'm sorry. Please excuse me. Pass ball, pass ball. Give it. Give it. Oh, Jesus. Peace, how are you? Oh. Pass ball to him. Oh, oh. Peace, I was watching that. You were watching that? Sorry, I have a question. Did you come to this house to watch a football match or to make up for the lost years? Even at that, I was watching this before you turned it off. 
I mean, the least you could have done was just tell me before. Tell you what? Tell you what exactly? Who are you that I will tell you before turning off my TV? Who? Is this your house? Is this your house? Why would you come to somebody else's house and start watching a football match just like that? Look, don't annoy me. Don't annoy me. You better go and look for something to do with your life. Not sit, sit down here and watch TV. Is that what you came here to do? If you want to watch any match, any football match, go back to your house and watch. I'm sure you have a television in your house. I'm sure you do. Fuck. The next time I see you watching match in this house, we'll, we'll fight. Hi, right, peace. I want us to talk. I'm all ears. I make whatever you have to say brief. I don't have time. I know I've hurt you and your mom in the past in so many ways. But don't you think you're being too harsh? What did you just say to me? That I'm being too harsh? Aside the fact that I'm your father. I'm older than you. Don't you think I deserve some sort of respect from you? Respect? You're talking about respect, so you have the guts to open your mouth and talk about respect. Something must be wrong with your head. Peace. Yes, I said it. Something must be wrong with your head. <laughs> oh, God. Look, you, you do know that your stay in this house is because of me. Yes, it's because of me. So if you don't take time, if you don't respect yourself, I will cook up a lie. I will cook up a lie and I will tell my mother about it. And guess what? She will send you out of this house. So better respect yourself. How can you even be talking about respect from me? After 14 years, 14 whole years. Please, you're getting me irritated. Leave my sight. And when I say leave my sight, I said now, immediately. I should, I should respect myself. I should give him respect. Aside, I'm your father. I am also older than... I'm competent, man. Well, how's your tummy now? I'm fine. So are you okay? Thank you so much. Um, let me get you something to eat. What would you like to eat? No, nothing at the moment. But you need to eat something. I'm not hungry now. Come on. Don't worry, don't worry. When I get hungry, I'll let you know, okay? Don't you think we should go to the hospital? No, there'll be no need for that. I'm fine. Look at you. You look sick. Okay, so I'll be okay. I'll be fine, okay? I will. Okay, mom. Don't worry, baby. Um, peace. I haven't seen your mom all day. I was wondering, is she okay? No, is that your business? Peace, I'm only asking because I'm worried. Um, she's not okay. She has been having a little stomachache since last night, so she's not okay for now. How come? Yes, I should be asking you, how come? Did you poison her? What? <laughs> I mean, she ate what you cooked, so... Did you put anything inappropriate in her food? And why would I want to do that? Why did you leave us all these years? Look, peace. I will never do anything to hurt your mom. You have already done something and it hurts her very hard. You left her for 14 good years. 14 years. You were nowhere to be found. She was suffering alone. So you really hurt her. So stop acting like you really care about her. Come in peace. Um, I heard from peace that you're not feeling fine. I'm fine. But you wouldn't be in bed if you were. You're not supposed to be in my room. Look, peace told me your symptoms, so I went to the pharmacist and they prescribed this drug for you. I don't need anything from you. Just leave my room. 
Ebere, can we go back to fighting when you feel better? I don't need anything from you. Just leave. Ebere! Sorry, I'm sorry. Look, you can go back to ignoring me and not taking anything from me once you feel better. But now I feel you need this so you can get better, at least for peace. I'm okay, I'm fine. I'll, I'll keep this here, look, in case you change your mind. I also made pepper soup for you. Excuse me. Hello. You're still up? Uh, how are you feeling, Ever? Well, I'm better. I took the drug. Thank God. I, I was actually going to come check up on you once I finished doing this. By the way, why are you mopping this night? Well, peace thinks I should be doing this every night. But don't worry, I'm used to it already. Okay. I'm glad you're feeling better. Yeah, thank you. You're welcome. I said juice. No, you said water. I said juice. Are you trying to tell me that I don't know what I said? I said juice and not water. No, please, you can't keep... What, 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 what do you want to say? What do you want to say? No, I thought you said you, you would do everything and anything to make up for the 14 years you were absent. Yes, I said I would do anything and everything. But don't you think this is becoming too much? Don't you think abandoning my mother and I for 14 good years is too much? Look, peace. I'm trying my best here to make you see how sorry I am. Can't you just see my, my efforts? Can't you see that I'm making efforts? Just give me juice, please. Be quick. Can you walk? Mom, how are you feeling now? I'm okay. Oh, thanks to God. You know, thanks to Caleb. He got me drugs. Oh, for once in history, that man is useful. I was hoping we could talk. Talk about what? About Caleb. What about him this time? Peace, I think you should give him a break. Give him what break? I don't understand what you're saying. Yes. I know he hurt us, right? What? Two wrongs don't make it right. Ever since he got into this house, he has been doing exactly what you asked him to do. That's enough proof that his intentions are pure. So what are you trying to say? He didn't nail on the head. Peace. All I'm saying is you should treat him better. Treat him better? <laughs> well, he hasn't even proven anything. He has not proven to me that he's a better person. And even if he does, I'm not ready to accept him. Yes. This is not even a request. Henceforth, you'll be nicer to him. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? So, so what now? You believe him? Tamara, you have no idea what peace has made this man go through. You know how she is now. She has practically turned him into a house help. If he wasn't here for the right reason, he would have left the long time ago. But no, he kept on stomaching it. That means he's here to really right his wrongs. So you're falling in love with him once again? I, I didn't say so. No, you don't have to say it. I mean, this man got you pregnant, denied and abandoned you, and suddenly he's showing up after all these years. And you're not asking why. That's because he has realized his mistake. I mean, I can't keep punishing him now. We all sin, don't we? But God, don't hold it against us. Are you the Lord, Eberi? No, tell me, are you God? He is God. He sees the heart of every man. You don't know Caleb had. Do you know him? Do you know the reason why he's suddenly back? You're not asking. I know. I know why he's back, Tamara. I know he's back for good. So please, let it be. Eberi, can't you just slow down and to know if he's for real? At least to know why he's here. He is for real. He is for real, okay? I am convinced. Uncle Caleb! 
Uncle Caleb! How is this one? Uncle Caleb! Coming! Please, you called me. Take this place out. What? I said take this plate out. Be quick. You called me down here to come and take a plate for you to the kitchen. Obviously. <laughs> That's why I called you. Now take it out of here and don't make me with my Peace. Phone. What are you doing? Take this plate from me. Please, can, can you excuse us? You heard that? Shush, shush, excuse us. Ah. You lose your brains too. Peace. Mom, how are you? I thought we talked about this. Mm, I didn't concur to what you said. Peace, you have to stop treating Caleb like a slave. He's not one. Well, the agreement was to make up for the lost years. And that's what I'm trying to do. And I'm saying he has done more than enough. It's been weeks and you've been shitty to him, yet he still stay. You know what, Mom? Let's calculate this. He abandoned us for 14 years. And I've only punished him for a few weeks. Why, 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 is it, why are you making it such a big deal? It's not even up to a year. You will have to stop treating him like that. Enough is enough. You know what? Treat him the way you want to treat him. Why don't I treat him the way I want to treat him? Simple. Are you even listening to anything I'm saying? I said I don't want you treating him like that or talking to him in any kind of way. If I find you talking to him in that way again, I won't be happy with you. Mm. There is no but. That is fine now. Do I make myself clear? Are you not the one I'm talking to? I said, do I make myself clear? Peace! Peace! What is it? Caleb, I, I want to apologize for the way peace has been treating you. Um, Ebera is fine. I totally deserve it. Honestly, what are you doing here? I've told you before. I miss my family. And I want both of you back into my life, does it? Caleb, I believed you once. But what did you do when you found out I was pregnant? You waited for your dad to travel and then you chased me out of your house. As if that is not enough. You instructed your gate man not to allow me anywhere near your gates. You abandoned me for good 14 years. Obira, I know. And I am sorry. Look, I was a different person then. I was young and stupid. But I'm a different person now. I'm no longer that person. Are you really here for real, Caleb? I am. I really am. And I will never leave you or my daughter ever again. I promise you. I just hope I don't regret believing you again. No, you won't. I promise you. I thought you would lock yourself in the room and decide not to come out forever. Let's talk. I have nothing to say. Now! Sit down. Sit! I know you're finding it difficult to accept Caleb. But you just have to try and give him a chance. That was my only way of giving him a chance. But you're not treating him as human. You're treating him as if he's your house help. Oh, whatever I do to that man, he deserves it. You don't just expect me to sit down and not make him suffer a bit for what he did. But it's not in your place to make him pay back for what he did to us. You're not God. Well, I was created in his likeness and image, so technically I'm a mini-god. Peace, God forgives. Mom, I'll definitely forgive him, but I'm not ready. Peace! Mom, you should know that we're different people. You might not have any problem with him being here, but I have a problem with him being in this house. And until I'm at peace, I will not treat him any better. He's your father. He's not my father. That man may have birthed me, but he does not qualify to be a father. Well, my decision still stands. I need you to start treating him better. Just, just promise me you'll try, okay? Fine, I'll try. 
But don't expect me to just see him as family. Because he's not a family to me. Please. Mom, I'm hungry. I should go get what I'll eat. Mom, what's this sweet aroma disturbing my nose? Well, your father decided to give us the princess treatment. So, he's making breakfast. Oh, please, you're here. Just grab a seat, okay? Yeah. Oh, pass, please. Peace! Peace! Please, please get the door. Okay. Uh, who is that? Mm. Why did you shut the door at his face? Hi, Amir. So, on my way back, I got something for both of you. Um, peace. This one is for you. You got me something as what? Keys. No, let him tell me. Why did you buy something for me? Why? Did I beg you for anything? Did I ask for anything? No, you should have gotten it for me 14 years ago. Where were you? You were nowhere to be found. You abandoned us for 14 good years. Take it from him. What would I take? What, what I don't want? I don't want it. Go on. So you're standing like this for me to jump up. Hey, he got me something and come and collect it, right? It's fine. Can I have it? And what do you say? What am I supposed to say to him for buying what I don't want? Thank you. Thank you. It's fine. And, um, hey, Barry, I got this for you too. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. So I'll just quickly pick up some from the room. I'll okay. bring you guys. See, he got us something. That's so nice of him. I can buy 10 of these for myself. Why didn't he buy it for me when I was a child? 14 years ago. Peace. 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 Your father is not back yet. Am I his keeper? How am I supposed to know? Peace. He's not back. How come? That sounds like him. His phone is even switched off. Maybe he has done what he knows how to do best. Leave. Peace, give him a break. That man is trying and you know that. Whatever. Anyways, when you want to go to bed, just leave the door open so he can be able to come in when he gets back, okay? Do I make myself clear? Yes, you do. Good night. Good night. Just 
stay outside. Caleb, why are you sleeping outside? Oh, um, the door was locked when I came back, so I, I had no choice. But I asked Peace to leave the door open. Why, 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 why would she lock it? Oh, maybe she thought I wasn't going to come back. Even at that. I specifically asked her to leave this door open. Why would she do that? Well, um, don't blame her. It's not her fault. Why, why did you come back so late? Okay, my car broke down. So I called the mechanic to come fix it. Before he could rectify what was wrong with it, it was late. Then coming back home again, I met this heavy traffic. I wanted to call you, but my phone was down. I'm, I'm so sorry about that. Let's go inside. Yes, Thank you. Peace, what are you doing here? You didn't really have to cover up for me. What are you talking about? We both know that I intentionally locked you outside. So you didn't have to tell my mother otherwise. Peace. What? Oh, you expect me to just warm up to you like that? Why? Because you, you covered up for me. Look, I did whatever I did because I didn't want you to get into trouble with your mom because of me. Look at you sounding like you care. Peace, I, I am trying here. I am trying. <laughs> well, no one wants you to try. I don't want you. I don't. Why did, you, why did you even come back to this house? Why did you just remain gay? You didn't even have to look for us at all. Why are you here? I am truly sorry. Really, I am. And I came back to this house because I just want to make up for the lost times. Well, unfortunately for you, that lost times you're talking about is gone forever. There is nothing you do that can bring it back because 14 years cannot be brought back in one week. Do you understand? And just in case, next time, don't cover up for me. It's not your business if I get into trouble with my mother. Are your ears open? I guess so. Um. Hello, peace. I want to use my mother's kitchen. Sure, you're free. And you think I was asking for your permission? I meant leave. Let me use my mother's kitchen. Um, what do you mean? You met me here. And so what? And so what? Leave my mother's kitchen. This, this kitchen is big enough for both of us. I don't care. Why didn't you cook 14 years ago? 
Why are you cooking now? I said leave my mother's kitchen. I want to make food that I will eat. Oh, you're snobbing me. You're snobbing me. I said leave my mother's kitchen. I will stab you with this knife if you're not careful. Leave my mother's kitchen and you're and you're joking with me. Oh yeah, leave. Leave. Leave my mother's kitchen. Cannot share kitchen with with with, with someone like you. Want me to learn how to abandon my children for 14 years? Where were you 14 years ago when my mom was cooking? Forgot how to cook. Uncle <sighs> Caleb. Um, I'm really sorry about what happened earlier. No, it's fine. No, you don't... seriously, I'm, 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 I'm really sorry. I'm sorry for throwing you on your way, and I'm sorry for talking to you the way I've been talking to you for the past few weeks. The thing is that my mom and I have just been through a lot all these years, and you suddenly showing up brought back all the anger and frustration we had. That was why I acted the way I, I acted. Please. After throwing your onion away today, I, I felt pity. And then I realized that what my mom always says to me is true. I shouldn't be punishing for a mistake. A mistake you made in the past. You're a changed person now. And I've forgiven you. And I also want to give you another chance. Are you serious? Yes. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much, peace. And I want to promise you this thing. I will never let you down. I, I believe you. you. So, a fresh start? Yes. yes. Come here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm sorry for everything, okay? It's fine. I forgive you. I'm sorry. So, sit down. <clears throat> so, now that I want to cook again, are you going to do it with me? No, I'm not going to do anything. Why do yes. you want to cook? Anything you want to eat, I'll make it for you. Oh, now you're going by my orders. But when I was giving it... <laughs> so, yeah, this was my picture when I was still small. I told you one day I was going to show them to you. What? <laughs> okay, okay. What? <laughs> what were you doing? Oh, why were you so looking so 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 <laughs> well, um, my daughter and I, we are bonding. Yeah, my dad is such a funny man. If you see his pictures from way back, <laughs> you'd laugh. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's such a good welcome development. When did all of this happen again? Uh, let's just say that it's going to be a little secret mm -hmm. that we're not going to tell anyone. Not even her. Not even her. <laughs> oh, wow. So you both are now keeping secrets, right? Is someone jealous? I think so. Yeah, yeah she looks jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I'm happy you guys are bonding. Thank you, ma'am. I really love this. Thank you. Yes. And um, we made food for you. Too. No, I, I, I didn't touch anything. He made something for you. No, I'm not going to take credit for your work. Mm. Mm. Okay. We'll he made something, something for you. Stop saying we. That's yeah. nice. Dad. Baby girl. Don't worry about the plates. I'll clear them. Why? You've always insisted I do this. I know. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry for making you do ridiculous things. No, you don't have to be. Look, I deserved it. No, you don't. We all make mistakes. And I shouldn't crucify you for the ones you've made. Thank you so much, Peace. Just drop the plates. 
You know what? Just bring the plate. Let me take this one. Are you seriously going to do this yes, one? Bring this one. Bring this one. Bring this one. Thank you. You know, I have never seen Peace as happy as she was this night. It's all thanks to you. But I didn't do anything. Yes, you did. And thank you for coming back to us. You know, I promise you that I'm not going anywhere again. And I'm not going to hurt both of you ever again. Promise? It's a promise. Guess what? Come on. Hey, why don't you just go ahead and tell me? You know I hate guesses. I don't know how to do that. They fell for it. What? Eberry and Peace, they fell for it. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. How? Because I know the last time we spoke, it's... I swear to God, I was this close to hitting her. I was this close to giving her a dirty slap, then I held myself. I mean, what is wrong with this girl? How can somebody be so immanent and, and, and insolent? How dare she throw away my plate of onion? Is she mad or something? Calm down. I am calm. I feel a lot better. Yeah, you're right. What would I have done without you, Diana? Uh, I love you. Bye. Wow. So how did things went from that to this? Babe, it's a long story. I'll tell you all about it, but I just wanted you to know that Iberia and Peace, they've accepted me. Oh, wow. That's, that's a great news. That's, that's good to hear, babes. To think that I was planning to do the same thing I did to Iberia to Peace. So, um, yes. So, enjoy your meal. Of course. <laughs> we'll surely enjoy the meal. Is it not our food? Or you didn't expect us to enjoy it? We've been eating for 14 good years. 14 years without you. So, with or without you being here, we'll enjoy the food. Let me see if you even. going on? Tell me. Why is it not work? What happened to your tummy? I don't know. It has been biting me. Ah. <sighs> what happened? Did you eat something you're allergic to? Oh God, what's this now? Should I get you water? No, no, no. Oh, no. Let me get you water. Don't worry. Let me get you water. <sighs> Do 
you know that it was after everything that a brace softened up? To think that I was even planning to do the same thing to peace. But obviously, I don't have to do it again because both of them are falling. Well, I knew you pulled this off. You're such a great actor. Even myself, I'm shocked at myself. I never believed I could just do it so easily. Well, this calls for celebration, baby. Oh, yeah, so it calls for celebration. In fact, I've already celebrated with Tiberi just that she didn't know what the celebration was all about. Oh, well, now I feel jealous that you're doing that with her now. Come on now, you don't have to be jealous. No matter where I am, my heart belongs to you forever. Oh, I love you so much, baby. I love you too. Um, I I I'll call you tomorrow, okay? Bye. All right, bye. Who, who is it? Hi. Hello. Would you like to join me in the master's bedroom? Oh, sure, why not? Okay. I'll be waiting. Oh, okay, I'll I'll come join you. So gullible. Hello, babe. You're awake already? Yeah. I made breakfast for you. Oh, you did? Mm hmm You know, this is something I should have been doing these past 14 years. But I promise you, I'm going to do this for the rest of our lives. Thank you. Uh, so, eat while I watch you. Well, I still need to brush my teeth first. Mm -mm. They say it's good to eat before you brush in the morning. <sighs> okay. Go ahead, open it. Okay, okay. I'll just have a bite. Okay. That. My darling, did I wake you up? Yes, kind of. I'm Good so morning. sorry. Good morning. <laughs> I just brought your breakfast so you see something to eat when you wake up. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, Dad. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. I'll have to go out. And I'm sorry about everything you've done. No, you don't have to be sorry. I am the one who is sorry. Okay? Okay, so when you're awake, eat your food. I'm already awake. Thank you so much, Dad. All right, baby. I'll see you. What are you doing? I'm actually doing what I should have done all these years. Look, Ebira, I know I don't have a ring or a flower because this was not planned, but I can't wait anymore. Will you do me the honors of being my wife and make me the happiest man on earth? Yes, yes. Yes? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> He proposed. Oh, nice. You don't sound happy. Eberi, I won't lie to you. I am not happy and I am not sad either. I just feel indifferent. Tamara, come on. Eberi, if Caleb was someone I trust, I wouldn't have issue with this. But I don't trust that guy. Tamara, this again? Yes, this again. What he proposed, is that not enough proof? You are still not asking the right question. Why now? Because he realized his mistake and he's back. And it's now. Look, Tamara, I know you've never been a fan of Caleb. My dear friend, I am just looking out for you. Look, everything is fine. Everything is perfectly okay. I am just happy that the father of my daughter is back and we are together. The least I expect from you as my friend is for you to be supportive. Can you do that for me, please? 
So I thought that both of you might need this. Thank you so much. Hi, Mark. Tamara. Uh, so I'll just leave both of you. All right, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. You see, he's such a cool guy. Tamara. At least, take the drink. I'm not interested. Babe, what are you guys enjoying in this? <laughs> this series is really interesting. Just, just watch. Babe, why aren't you taking your calls? Oh, he's one of my friends, Joshua. I'll call him back. I, I think you should take it. It might be something very important. Babe, you and Peace are the two most important people in my life now. So anything that will disrupt this family moment, I'm not interested. So the call can wait. I love you. And I love you too. Peace, do you want some more? Hello, babe. Uh, sorry, I, I was ignoring your calls. I was with them, so there was no way I could pick your call. Exactly, exactly. It's supposed to be a surprise, and I don't even want either of them to find out. <laughs> you know, I've made a whole lot of terrible mistakes. I'm only trying to make up for it. Look, both of them are the most important people in my life now, and I can't even afford not to give them everything they've asked for. Especially now that they've given me a second chance. Yes. <coughs> um, babe, I'm here now. I heard a peaceful step, so I had to change the topic. I can't even believe I would just have to go and buy them gift now to make it look like if I actually wanted to surprise them. Yeah, I know. I just have to do it. And babe, I'll call you tomorrow. I have to go now. Okay? All right, bye. Love you. So, I invited the both of you here because I have a special gift for both of you. To my beautiful daughter. Oh, thank you this so much, you. Dad. Oh my God, this sundials. Oh wow, thank you so much, Dad. I've always wanted to have it. Now you have it. And uh, to the most beautiful wife to be, I got you this. Oh. Wow. You like it? Like. I love it. Thank you so much, babe. Thank you. You're welcome. But what's the occasion? <laughs> no occasion. I just thought that the two most beautiful women in my life deserved something really special. That's why I got them for you. Oh, thank you so much, babe. You're welcome. Um, I actually have a confession to make. The thing is that I actually overheard Dad making the call about the surprise last night. You did? Yes. I was, I was going to get water from the kitchen, but because I heard you talking about the surprise, I didn't want to distract you. I just had to go back. So why didn't you say anything? I didn't want to ruin the surprise. I mean, you really made a lot of effort by coming out by that time of the night, and he didn't want anyone to hear him, so I didn't want to ruin it. Mm -hmm. That's so thoughtful of you. Come here, my daughter. <laughs> Thanks, <Eddie. laughs> 
It's fine. Oh, but this shoe is. I, I think you should try it. So I will try. Sure. Thank you. It's a sundown. This, this is beautiful. Hey, babe. Hi. You don't look okay. Of course, I'm not okay. What's wrong? It's peace. What about our daughter? I saw her sneaking around with a boy. What? Where? Look, I was coming back from visiting a friend. I saw her getting into a cab with one, one boy. I tried to track them, then I lost them. What? She told me she was, she was going to study with her female friends. She's with a boy. Oh my God. Maybe you just try and ask her about it when she gets back. Definitely. I, I will. I mean a boy. Iberi, can I ask you for a favor? Um, is, is it okay you don't tell her Zonda reported her to you when she gets back? Because I mean, both of us just started getting along. And if she finds out that Zonda reported her to you, she may go back to hitting me. And I wouldn't want that to happen now. It's fine. I, I won't mention your name. Thank you so much. Fine game. Sorry, excuse me. Oh. Yes, what do you want? My bad. I was just passing and... I saw you, I must confess, you are very beautiful. I know, please excuse me. Um, my bad, my bad. Babe, babe, come, 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 come and see. Come and see. see, come and see. Come and see what? Come and see. Babe, come. That was not why I stopped you. I was actually looking for my younger sister. Wait, you're looking for your younger sister and you have time to give compliments. Oh, I thought that was a good icebreaker. I'm sorry, sorry if that annoyed you. I mean, it's fine. So let's talk about your sister. When last did you see her? We were together at the mall. So I told her to wait outside while I go inside the mall to get something. Mm. Coming out, I couldn't find her anywhere. Just like that? Just right. Did you look for her properly at the mall? Maybe she might have gone somewhere. Yeah, I have. That was why I approached you to know if you have seen her somehow. I don't know. I have not. By the way, I don't even know what your sister looks like. So I don't know if oh. I, I might have seen her, but I don't know. Oh, let me show you her picture. So Please do. You can. Well, if you have seen someone like this, she's fair. I've not. I've not really seen. But where is the mall? The mall is down there, right there. Oh no, I'm coming from this route actually. I I, uh -oh. I don't know. I'm I sorry. Seen her. It's right, fine. Thank you. I hope you find her. Yeah. I'm, I'm, thank you. Yeah. Good afternoon. Where are you coming back from? Oh, I told you I was going to Joy's house. That's where I'm coming from. Come here. I said, come and stand here. I don't see any problem. And who is that guy I saw you with? Which guy? I just saw you with a guy. Oh, um, Zeb. Is that his name? Yes. I just saw him. He said he's looking for his sister, but fortunately, I don't know who his sister is, so I couldn't give any information. Please, when did you start lying to me? What do you mean lying to you? I just told you the. Don't you dare pretend like you don't understand what I'm talking about! Mom, I don't understand what you're talking so about. Oh, you lied to me that you're going to Joy's house and you end up in a boy's house. No! Will you shut up and keep quiet? <laughs> Henceforth, you will never go to Joy's house again. Do I make myself clear? No, I just told you. I said enough. shut up and keep quiet! Now, go to your room. No! I seriously don't. Where did this one start? Eh? So if Caleb wasn't in this house, I wouldn't have known what my daughter has been doing. Zeb. Okay. No problem. Peace. 
heard your mommy shouting at you. What happened? I was coming back from my friend's house. And then a boy saw me. And started asking me if I saw his missing sister. When I came inside, my mom said I went to see him. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Wait, why would she say anything like that? I don't know. I don't know. You know what? I'm going to have a word with her. I'm going to talk to her, okay? You will? Yes, I will. Thank you so much, Dad. Okay. So stop crying, all right? Mm. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. Yes, who's there? Oh. Can, can I come in? Oh, no, 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 please. Um, my mom saw you yesterday with me and then she got the wrong idea. I wouldn't want that to repeat itself. Oh. And I don't want her to see you here. Oh, it's okay. How about your sister? Did you let her find her? Oh, she actually went home. She did? Yeah, I actually came here to tell you that. That's good news. <laughs> That's nice. I'm happy. Yeah. I should be going now. All right, bye. Take care right, of yourself. Bye. Bye. You again? Good afternoon, man. You must be peace mother, right? She have told me a whole lot about you. What are you doing here? I came to see my girlfriend. Your what? Peace told me you are aware of our relationship. Or was that a lie? The very next time I see you anywhere close to my daughter again, I will deal with you. Do you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I can't hear you. Yes, ma'am. Now get out of my house. Get out! Boyfriend, indeed. Rubbish. Mom! Mm -hmm. Welcome. So, how is. You don't look too good. Is there what is wrong with you? Mom, what, what is wrong with me? How? How old are you? How old are you that you're already having boyfriends? Boyfriends? And you even have the nerve to invite them to my house? What? What are you talking about, mom? You're denying it. I don't even know what you're saying. I don't know what you're talking about. So this is what you do when I'm not around? Mom, I don't have a boyfriend. Please, I don't if you lie to me one more time, I swear to God, I will hit you mercilessly. I already warned your boyfriend. And I'm going to warn you. I do not want to see you anywhere close to that guy again. Or any other guy in this world. Do I make myself clear? Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am. I don't have a boyfriend. I didn't even invite anyone to the house. Thank you, for a job well done. Thank you, sir. You can go. Please, can we talk? Sit down. <sighs> Mom, I really don't know who that guy is. We just met yesterday and he started asking me Enough. if I saw... Enough! Mom, you have to believe me. I'm serious. Please, no, tell me. Why should I believe you? No, tell me. Why should I believe you when we both know you are lying? I'm not lying. I'm, I'm telling the truth, sincerely, I'm not lying. I have said it before and I will say it again. I do not want to see you anywhere close to that boy again. If I ever see that boy anywhere close to you or this house, I will deal with you. And that's fine now. I'm serious. I'm telling you. Get out of my sight! Maybe dad will believe me. Hi, please. Why are you crying? 
It's mom. But what happened? She doesn't trust me. What are you talking about? I don't know who gave her the impression that I've started following boys. I'm trying to tell her that I don't even know the boy, but she won't believe me. And why would she think you have a boyfriend? I don't know. I don't know. All right, it's fine. I'm going to have a word with her, okay? And I'll find out why she thinks you have a boyfriend. Then I'll try to convince her otherwise. Okay? Thank you so much. I mean, you, you've been a good girl. As a matter of fact, I trust you. And I'll make her trust you too. Okay? Thank you so much, Dad. I'm happy you're here. I'm happy to be back too, my darling. Mm. It's okay. Stop crying. Okay. So have you eaten? Yes, I've eaten. Okay, come. Let's go watch TV. I don't want to watch TV. I thought you said you stopped crying. Let's go. Come on. Hey, what's up? I'm really worried about Peace. I'm really worried about her. I mean, how long has this been going on? So this is how I'll be here, not knowing what she's doing if you hadn't come to stay with us. How can she be having a boyfriend at her age? How? Um, babe, you don't have to worry. The important thing is that I'm here now. And together, we'll fight this, okay? Here, I brought you a drink. I'm sure it will help calm your nerves. Thank you. I really needed this. Mom. 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 She's still breathing, Mom. Mommy, wake up. Hey, babe. Dad, I don't know what's happening to Mom. Nowadays, she just passes out every time. Mom. Good afternoon, Mom. Where are you coming from? School. I thought they told us last week to come to school today for extra lessons in preparation for the exam. From school? In yes. Mufti? Today is Saturday, so they told us to wear Mufti. You're coming from his house, right? Whose house? Don't you dare pretend like you don't know what I'm talking about because you know exactly what I'm talking about! Mom, well, Mike, I went to school. I didn't go to anybody's house. Will you, will you shut up? <laughs> shut up your mouth! <laughs> How many times did I warn you not to see that boy again? How many times? I, mean, I didn't see anybody. You're hurting me. How many times did I warn you? Hey, peace! Wait, wait, what, what are you doing? I didn't go anywhere. Go back. 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 Go Ebere! Ebere, what is it now? Ebere! Ebere! Mom, Ebere. what happened to her? Jesus Christ! Mommy! Mommy! Please wake up, Jesus Christ! Mommy! What's happening? I have no idea. But don't worry, I'll find out when she wakes up, okay? Okay, Dad. Come here. She'll be fine. I'm just worried. I don't know why she just... Don't worry, she'll be fine. Okay? Come see it. What are you looking for? I, I, I don't do drugs. What are you? There is nothing there. I don't. Oh my 
God. Caleb, say something now. Say something. What? That is certainly not mine. I don't know how that got into my bag. I don't do drugs. That is not for me. I don't do. I don't do drugs. Madam, you are under arrest for possession of illegal drugs. Caleb, say something. Move. That is not mine. I don't do drugs. I don't. I don't know anything about this. Madam, move. Madam, move. move. I, I don't move. know how that got into my bag. No, I, 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 move. I, Please move. Caleb, say something now. Say so. I don't know. That is not for me. That is. I don't know how that got into my bag now. I don't know. Hey, babe. Dad, um, uh, how's mom? She's going to come out this evening. I'm working on that already. I know, I, I know that she, she doesn't take drugs. She's not that kind of person. She doesn't. Well, she's actually that kind of a person. I mean, they ran a test on her and they found drug in her system. What? Honestly. You know, all those times she's been acting weird. It's been the drugs. What? I was surprised myself. I couldn't believe it. No, no, this can't be true. My mom doesn't take drugs. She doesn't. I've lived with her for 14 years of my life and never for once have I seen her taking drugs. She doesn't even act weird or pass out any time. As a matter of fact, the only time she, she started acting weird and passing out regularly it was right after you came to this house. Wait. It has been you. W what are you talking about? Why didn't I even think about this? You've been the one, you've been the one feeding her everything she's been eating. And the drugs. You, you put this in her handbag. Oh, come on, please, don't be ridiculous. I can never do such a thing. I want to see my mother. Look, I know this is hard for you to believe. Oh, your mom is not actually- I said I want to see my mother. Okay, okay fine. She'll come out today. I'll make sure of that. All right? Please come. See, I know neither you nor your mom trust me or believe in me. But I want you to know that I'll never do anything to hurt your mom. I did not plant the drug in her bag. The truth is that your mother has always been using drugs just that you never knew. No. I don't believe you. Uh, can, can you hear me? Yes. Look, I'm calling to report the possession of hard drugs by someone. Yes, yes. I am very sure. Okay, I'll, I'll send you the address immediately. Okay, bye. Hello, babe. I'm good. Look, everything is going according to our plans. I've already filed a petition concerning the custody of peace. Yes, yeah, so, and look, we are going to win this. There is no way we are not going to win this because the NDA is already involved and there's no way Iberia is going to win the custody of uh, peace. So, win her and we have custody of her, then we move to our second plan. Yes. 
um, um, babe, so I'll, I'll keep you posted. I don't want anybody to hear what I'm saying. All right, all right. I love you. Bye. Um, peace. Peace. Oh. I'm glad I'm able to bail you out. You can drop the act now, Caleb. What act are you talking about? Do not pretend like you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. Caleb, you planted that drug in my bag. <laughs> you know, you're actually very funny. You know, I was about to ask you now that I never knew you now do drugs. When did you even start doing drugs? Don't you dare put this on me. Put what on you? I did not put anything in your bag. By the way, if you say you don't do drugs, how did that drug get into your bag? Because obviously I did not put it. Wait, what is really going on here? Are you really going to act like you are not the one who planted the drug? I did not put any drug in your bag, Ibiri. So the drug just appeared in my bag? What about the one in my system? Moreover, you've been the one giving me wine to drink. Have you been spiking it? Why would I even want to spike your drink? Don't you think you're just laying unnecessary accusations against me? <laughs> you know, I was such a fool to believe you again. I thought you were a changed person. I thought you were different. But no, you are still the same Caleb I know. Get out! What are you saying? Go inside, pack your things, and leave my house this minute. I do not want to set my eyes on you again. Go inside, pack your things. I do not want to set my eyes on you again. Well, let me tell you something. You see that second part of your statement? It is not possible. What did you just say? Because you're going to be seeing more of me. I do not want to set my eyes on you again. Leave my house! We shall see. Mom. Oh, baby. How are you? Oh, I'm back. I'm back. I'm okay. I'm back. I'm back. How are you? I'm fine. It's okay. It's, it's okay. It's, it's, it's okay. Everything is fine. Okay? How, how could Caleb do this to me? How? I know you blame me for this. You warned me and I didn't listen. You, you know, I hate it so much that I was right. I really wished he was a different person. He's not. He's not. What I don't understand is, what's the reason for all of this? Why go through the stress? Unless there is something he's planning. Something we two don't know about. I'll, I'll get it. Thank you. What are you doing here? What are you doing in my house? I thought I asked you never to step your foot into this house again! Well, I have a document for you. You want to check it out? I am not checking anything! Get out! Yes, you heard that right! Get out! Well, I'm sorry, my darling, but this is really important. What? What? You're trying to fight for custody of my own child? I can't have an addict looking after my child, can I? Oh. Now I know the reason you came into this house in the first place. You planted that drug in my bag. You had this off figure that, right? You know what? I'd rather die than allow you to take my child away from me. I won't allow you to do that. Fine and good. Get ready to die. Get out! Just get out, go! It's okay, it's okay. You know what? You need to leave right now. You have no idea what you've just done. Just go! Go! Get out! Get out! It's okay. Get out! It's okay. Just go! Just, just go! He's so terrible. <laughs> You're back? Um, can we talk, please? Yeah, we should talk. What do you think you're doing? Look, I understand that you may think the worst of me right now, but the truth is I didn't plant the drug in your mother's bag. <laughs> so what are you trying to say? That those drugs belong to my mother? Yes, they do. And she's been hiding it from you. Look, I know this may be very difficult for you to believe, but your mother is dangerous. Remember those spirits she was trying to hurt you because she was high that I came to rescue you? It's because of these drugs that she's been taking. I understand that you may think also that your mother was not like this before. And this whole thing started since I showed up. 
But have you thought about it that it could be a coincidence? Maybe God just wanted it to happen this way that I'm around, so I'll be able to protect you. So what are you saying? What I'm saying is that your mother needs help. And I'm willing to provide that help for her. But as for you, you can't keep staying with her. I can't even stay with her as well. Because she might hurt us one day. Do you understand? He can't take away my child from me, right? He can. What? Yes. He's taking on the ground that you're a drug addict. Remember you still have a case with the drug law enforcement agency? That would be his number one evidence against God. you. Caleb do this to me? Why? What did I ever do to him? I'd rather die than allow him take away my child from me. I won't allow him do that. The court asks that you appear tomorrow. Uh, I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going. Iberi, it is necessary that you go there. It is. me to give up my child just like that. How? How do they call me a drug addict? I won't allow Caleb to take away my child from me. I won't do that. I won't. I won't. Iberi, at this point, we don't have a choice. Yes, we do. I will not allow Caleb to take away my child from me. No. How can you just show me and take away the child I took care of for, for how many years? Mom. Oh, baby. Baby, you, you know what? Just, just go upstairs, pack your things, okay? We're leaving this place immediately. Caleb wants to separate us. He wants to separate us. I don't want that to happen, okay? Just no, I actually want to go with him. What? Yes, I want to go with my dad. Please. Uh, let me help you with your luggage. Just, just hang in here, wait for me, okay? Oh, don't worry, it's the other way. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Going. Baby girl, I know you're scared because of the court order. I promise you I will find a way around it. I will get us out of this state. And when we're out of this state, everything will be fine. No, okay? I don't want to be with you anymore. You lied to me. No, 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 no. So no. You, you, you use her drugs. No, no, no. It's not mine. Then how did he get into your wardrobe? It's Caleb's own. He said he didn't put it there. He said he didn't do it. You believe him over me? Yes. I mean, there were times I expected you to believe me, but you didn't, and he did, so I believe him. Please! Look, Mom, you need help. And don't worry about it. Dad is going to get help for you. I'm just scared that one day you might get high and, and hurt me. No, 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 no. I, 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 I won't hurt you. We've been living together for, for so many years. Have I ever hurt you? Yes! The time when you were high, you almost beat me. 
that, that was a mistake. I, I didn't know what I was doing. And only because, because of the drug Caleb you gave to see? me. So one day you might get high and mistakenly hurt me, which I don't want. Please. Mom, look, just leave me alone. Don't try to stop me. No. I want to go with my dad. Please, please. Mom, leave me alone. Let me get my things. Please, Excuse. Please. 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 Please don't. Please don't. Wait, please. No. Please don't. Please don't. My own daughter, but I've done everything for a child I took care of from the day she was born till this day looked me in the eyes and rejected me. How could she do this to me? Ah. Maybe she's just maybe she's just trying to protect you. You know the court already gave custody to Caleb. No, 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 no. It's not in her place. It's not in her place to protect me. I had plans. Oh, no, we we're going to move to another state uh, where the law cannot find us. We're going to move. He didn't want you to be an outlaw. I am sure that's why she left with Caleb. No, 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 no. That wasn't the case. That wasn't the case. I, I could see the disgust in her eyes. I saw it. My daughter looked at me. I rejected me. She couldn't believe me. She gonna be me, my mother. She be me. Why is she gonna be me? You're going to hurt yourself. Please listen to me. You need to calm down. You need to stay strong, okay? My God, this is my life. My God, please. Come in. Welcome, sir. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome home, my love. Thanks, Dad. This is Diana, baby. This is my house help. Oh. And, and Diana, this is Peace, my precious daughter. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Peace. Same Peace. here, Ma. Your job is to take care of her. Okay. Make sure she lacks nothing. Okay, sir. Is that okay? Okay, sir. And my love, yeah. if you need anything, anything at all, please tell her, okay? Of course I will. Come on, let's, let me show you your room. Okay. This way, this way, this oh, way. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, so... Yeah. So, this is your room. Thank you so much, sir. It's beautiful. <laughs> I'm glad you like it. So, if you need anything, I mean, Anything at all, you can call on Diana or myself, whichever one works for you, okay? Okay, sir, I'll surely call somebody. Okay. I'm glad you're here. I'm happy I'm here too. All right, enjoy your room. I'll be downstairs, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. How is my mom? Not good. She feels betrayed. I hope you didn't tell her anything. No, I didn't. Good. Hello, babe. I'm good. Look, everything is going according to our plans. I've already filed a petition concerning the custody of peace. Yes, yeah, so, and look, we are going to win this. There is no way we are not going to win this because the NDA is already involved and there's no way Iberia is going to win the custody of uh, peace. So, win her and we have custody of her, then we move to our second plan. Yes. What? That's what I overheard him saying this afternoon. So, where is he now? He went to bail my mom. So... His plans is to take you away from your mother. Do you think he'll succeed? On the grounds of drug abuse, she can be deemed unfit to take care of you. God, this man is so wicked. This man is so wicked. How can he do this to my mother after she forgave him? That is Caleb for you. That guy is a devil. But your mother never sees it. God. We have to tell your mom as soon as she returns. No, 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 please. No, don't tell her. Why not? Actually, I have a better idea. I, I heard him talking about a second plan. So I want to know what that plan is. We can still tell your mom. No. No. My mom won't agree to it. 
But your mother is in the best place to make this decision. No, Auntie. Look, Auntie Tamara, I would have done this alone. But I see you as someone I can trust. Someone that can keep a secret. That's why I involved you. So please, don't tell my mom about this. Okay? So what's the plan? Okay, so we'll just play along to his own plan. Let him take custody of me and don't worry, calm down. When I get to his house, I will make sure I find out every single plan he has. What if the plan is to kill you? Nah, the plan can't be to kill me. I mean, if he had wanted to kill me, he would have done it a long time ago. I've been with him, I've been eating his food. But not getting your mother involved in all of this, it's somehow... To Tamara, please. The only thing this whole thing would take is just time. Please, this is the only way to solve this problem. All I need you to do is to stay with her. Always be with her to console her so that she doesn't do anything deadly to herself. Okay? I'll, I'll, I'll think about it. Please, you have to do it for me. Okay? Yeah. Please, I need you to help me take care of my mother. Maybe we should just tell her. I, I don't feel good lying to her. No, auntie. This whole thing will end very soon. It's just a few weeks. Okay, I promise. Are you sure you're okay in that house? Yes. They treat me extremely well. They? Mm, yeah. When I got to the house, I met one lady. Her name is Diana. He said she's his house help, so... But... But what? You saw that? Yes. And I think she's the one he was talking to that day because he referred to the person he was talking to as babe. If she's his girlfriend, then why is he hiding her? I don't know. I have no idea. But I'll find out. I'll find out. Please, I need you to be safe. If you ever feel like your life is being threatened, please call me and I'll be right there, okay? Okay, I'm I don't safe. want anything to happen to you. Don't worry. Nothing will happen to me. I'm safe. Okay? Just help me take care of my mom. Of course I will. I have to go now before they start looking for me. Alright, okay? Be good, okay? I will. My dear friend, I came to stay with you. I know you need company. All right? I need you to stop crying. Please stop. Don't mess your pretty face. It's all right. I'm sorry. It's okay. Fine, girl. Stop crying now, Papa. Hmm? My Uibo Pepe. My, my daughter. Calm down. Everything will be fine, okay? What do you mean by you don't know where she went to? I was in my room, so I, I didn't know she had left. You were in your room, and you know she's new in this area. How could you? Hi, my darling. Oh, Daddy. How are you? Where did you go to? Oh, I was just bored, so I decided to take a walk. But, oh, I'm sorry if I got you worried. No, no, it's fine, but please. When next you want to go out, please tell someone, okay? Okay, Dad. I want to go upstairs now. Oh, sure, you can. Mm. Are you here not in our master bedroom? You seriously asking me that? What have I done this time? <laughs> what? Wait. You forgot how you were shouting at me earlier. Oh! Come on now. 
that that small thing. Look, I was just trying to make sure that nothing bad has happened to her. Really? Okay, fine. I am sorry. Me too. I said I'm sorry now. I've heard you. So you're not going to shout at me again? Shout at you? Am I, am I mad? I'll never shout at you again. Better for you. Oh, better for me because I just apologized, Abby. If you don't, you know now. Please, can we now go to our room? Beg, Let's go now. Beg, I'll I'll romantically, be romantic about My it. My love, please, can we go to our room? All right. Don't <laughs> not you! See, what I'm going to do to you this night, you'll see for yourself. Good. If I tell you now, fringe it, everything, let's go inside. Huh? <laughs> Baby girl, you still awake? Um, yes, uh, I normally have problems sleeping in a new environment, so I oh. said I should just go downstairs and watch TV for a moment. Oh, nice, that's good. You, you can go. Yes, but is there any problem? Problem? How do you mean? I mean, you're with the house help this late. Oh! The both of you are obviously going to your room, so that's weird. No, no, she actually spilled the drink in my room, so I want her to clean it up. She spilled the drink in your room? Yes. Oh, okay. But Dad, please, can she come and make me noodles? Noodles? Yeah, I'm craving noodles. I don't know why. I just get hungry at night sometimes. Oh. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. She'll come make it first. I actually me. like my Indomie spicy. Yes, she'll make it spicy. Yes, thank you. Now run along, watch your TV. Thank you. Yeah. Um, what? Come clean the... She will do what? What would you have me tell her? I should go make me this for her this night. What, what happens to her? She's going to make it for you in the morning. Why now? Diana, all she asks for is just noodles. Caleb, it's 10 p.m. It's late. Can we not go over this now, please? Please. It's okay, Sha. So you're gonna wait all for me, right? Definitely. So we have something we planned for the night. So I'm gonna wait up till it's accomplished. Sure. Right. So you know, run along and do it for <laughs> Okay, I'll be right back. So I'll be waiting in the room for you. It's fine. <laughs> babe. Big duck. Babe. Babe. Oh, <laughs> Sorry, Barry, do you have... Hey, Barry. She should be here by now. Hey, Perry, what are you doing? How could she... How could she do this to me? After everything I've done for her, she chose him over me. I am sure she's doing this for your own good. She loves you. Yet she left me. Because she had to. Yes. I mean, the, the court order said she should go with her father. That's the reason she left. I don't believe it. Hey, Barry. Crying won't do you any good. It won't solve any problem. Instead, you'll be doing yourself more harm. Okay? Please, let's go inside. Just leave me. Just, just leave me. Leave me. Please. I need you to go inside. You've been like this for a while. Leave me alone. Leave me. I can't leave you. You're like a sister to me. Whatever hurts you hurts me too. Please. Be cool. I beg you. Okay? I need you to cheer up, alright? Please stand up. 
Okay. Yes, stop crying. Stop. Yeah, smile for me. Hmm? Smile small. Small. Even if you're pretending, pretend smile. Eh? Auntie Diana! Auntie Diana! Yes? I thought you said you were going to clean my room. What happened? I already did. You already did? So you cleaned this room? It, yes, I, I did. Is this how you clean your own house? When you go back to your house, is this how you clean it? Touch this switch. I said touch the switch. There's no, oh, there's no dust on it. There's no dust on this switch. That means you're a dirty person. Very dirty. I'll give you one more chance. Last chance. You will clean this room. Make it as immaculate as you can ever make a room be. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yes, yes, yes. I'll go out. And next time I step into this room, I want it to be spotless. Okay. <laughs> wow. Is this, is this how it's going to be? She's barely settled and already commanding me. <laughs> hey, Diana. It's okay. So, oh, oh, dear. Mom, you're... Um, please, get that thing out of my sight. I... <clears throat> I just realized that I'm very hungry, meaning I need a very heavy food. You understand? So, I want something else, not that. Mom, mm? it took me my whole heavenly time to make this. All that you've requested for, I have made them, including jello fries, and, the rest and of who cares if it took you your devilish time to make every single thing I requested? Of course I requested. You're supposed to do everything. Am I right or am I wrong? Um, please, what would you like to eat? Exactly, that's exactly the question I've been expecting, but no, you are too dumb to ask that question. All you do is complain, complain, complain. Ah. <sighs> <sighs> Calm down. I like to have pounded yam and bitter leaf soup. This morning? Yes, this morning. I like to have pounded yam and bitter leaf soup. And I said, be fast about it. Uh, no, not at all. We can order it, ma'am. Order what? Oh, my father didn't tell you. My father didn't tell you that I don't eat anything that's ordered from food vendors, fast food and stuff. I eat homemade. As long as I'm at home, it's homemade. Homemade pounded yam. So you pound the yam very well to make it very smooth. You understand? Have you ever eaten pounded yam? You should know how smooth it used to be. Pounded yam and then bitter leaf soup. This is my father's house. I request whatever I want. So make the pounded yam smooth. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I am not- Shoo. We'll make it for you. Thank you, Daddy. So I'm just going to go upstairs right now and wait for the pounded yam and bitter leaf soup that you are about to make. When you're done, please call me so that I can eat. Okay? Mm. I should... I'm going to do what? Come down, come down. Look. Who we'll order it and she will know. Better. Because there's no way I'm going to go into that kitchen and prepare pounded yam. Peter leaves you this morning. No way. <sighs> Just order it. Fine. That's, that's fair. Diana. 
the, I, the writer just called me now that he's few minutes away. So when the food gets here, I put it in the place so she won't know what that is. Okay, all right, better. <laughs> oh, and today, Anna. Mom, um, how is the food preparation going? The it, food? It's going well. Mm, I see. It's going well, but I've not started doing anything. Like, I can't perceive any food, bit of leaf. Oh, I'm, I'm not even be hearing poundings. You know? Oh, no, I am. Just that I sent the gate man to go get me the bit of leaf. He will soon arrive. Okay. Yes. How about you just start pounding the yam already before he comes back? Uh, yes, yes. Don't worry. You don't have to worry yourself. I'll finish it up before you know it. Actually, I have a better idea on how this cooking will be very beautiful. How about I join you in the kitchen and, you know, look at your cooking skills. Oh, 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 no, my darling. No. My daughter cannot stay in the kitchen with a house help. Yes. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going, in fact, I'm not going to do anything in the kitchen. I'm just going to be taking note of what she's adding to the soup and, you know, follow the process. No, my baby, actually, there is something I wanted to show no. you in my room. Daddy, if it were to be that important, you would have shown me earlier. By the way, I really just want to see how Auntie Diana cooks. You know, I've been, I've been, I've been eating her food, and every time, even though I hide it, I'm like, wow. So I want to know how you make those daily cases. By the way, let's go. Uh, sir, sir, please, can I have a word with you? Is there any problem? Not at all. Oh, no, no, no. no. So you know what? As you're having <clears throat> a word with each other, I'm just going to go wait for, wait for you in the kitchen and... Ah, look at how it is. Okay? I'm waiting. Be fast. Just go. 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 Oh what are we going to do now? Diana, she just asked for pounded yam and bitter leaf soup. What are you even saying? Babe, can you just make it for her? What? Caleb! <sighs> Diane, please. Please. Fine. Why don't you tell her to go eat rice? Rice? Yes. You went there when she said she doesn't want to eat rice. And you expect me to go into the kitchen and prepare pounded jam and bitter leaves right after making rice? Diana, Do you know how stressed... Diana. <gasps> you know how, that we need this girl on our side. Oh, well, because of that, you should turn me into a slave. Right? But it's turning you into a slave. You know how important this girl is to us. Okay, fine. I'll come and assist you if you want me to. It's because of you, Kelly. It's because of you. I know. See why I love you. I should go put it up. Okay. You know what? What? I am going to pay you off for all this stress, I promise. Come on now. I'm sorry. Just do it for her. This is just for the meantime. See, keep going on along now. We don't have time. What kind of a thing is this now? P pounding the man bitterly soup. Hmm, this movie is quite interesting. Auntie Diana! Yeah, yes. Mom. Auntie Diana! I'm here, mom. I'm You're here. here. Get me biscuits, please. Okay, mom. One minute. Hmm. Mom, here you go. The biscuit. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate. Thank you. Get out. Okay. Auntie Diana! Auntie Diana! Auntie Diana, run, run, run. It's an emergency. Be fast. Ma, Ma, what is it? Get me juice. Huh? Get me juice, juice. Well, my would have asked me at once instead of sending me, you know, like I go and come back again. Does it? Are you talking to me? No, sorry, ma. I'm I don't. When I asked for the biscuits, I didn't want juice. I'll, I'll, now I suddenly want juice. Is this a crime to want something? No, no. No, answer the question. Really, is it a crime? No. I'm talking. You're talking. Is this a crime? No. Am I excused? You're quite a... Now, get out, get me juice, appear here in the next two... One minute! Yes, ma'am. Run! Okay, ma'am. So... Dad! Daddy! 
Help. Yes, I'm come coming. in, come in. Daddy, Daddy, I just had a terrible night. I can't sleep in my room alone. Are you serious? Oh. Please, can I sleep here just for this night, please? Um, yeah, yes, you, you can. Thank you so much. Come Thank on. you so much. I'm so scared. Oh, God. You can just, just this way. Okay. I hope you don't have a problem with me sleeping here. This is uh, not at all. You're my daughter. Because I don't actually want to disturb you. No, it's fine. It's fine. Sleep, okay? I'm here now. Okay. 